Yeah, eh? it's the Adelaide Old Fart. Uh, today is my first day taking the sidecar to work, which means commuting up South Road, which is the only bit I'll be showing you, and not all of it because the trip's a half hour trip. Um, and the traffic's slowly getting heavier, we're still in school holidays. Um, so it's not at full traffic yet, but it's slowly building up. You'll probably get to see a bit of the shit fight I have to put up with normally. And of course I'm doing it on my sidecar. Uh, this is a lowered section of South Road um, for the straight through traffic, part of the north-south corridor. The uh, local traffic is all above us on either side. Uh, it's actually made a huge difference, this one, it works. Now we're popping out, we're about to join South Road proper. A chimney stack up ahead is the old brickworks. It's now a uh, huge shopping centre. And now it gets complicated. Let's hope the traffic's going to me, because that way it's easier. That one next to me, okay. Now in a moment this will appear like a, a bit of a strange decision getting in this lane, but believe me, it actually makes it easier. Nasty left-hander. This left hand disappears the other side of the intersection, but Getting into it this early beats the traffic and emerging is all pretty easy, usually, maybe. Now in peak traffic, this section stop start. It's also bloody rough. Obviously we're still in school holiday traffic. Very rare to get any sort of run through there, through the stretch. Still, it's the worst part of the drive from here on, it's just normal heavy traffic.
it's pretty warm this morning but it's going to be hot this afternoon 35 degrees I reckon Now the quick move is to take the left hand lane because you get a bit ahead of the traffic but there's a heavy truck there and to be honest I don't feel like playing those games. Because it merges just the other side. And you can have all sorts of fun if you get an idiot, particularly someone going into the that petrol station. Oh, we got through the light, so nothing lost. Just gotta watch people trying to merge. Oh, this half wit in the red car is zooming up without thinking. No, no, coming in behind me and pushing in next to a truck. And I'm staying in this lane for the moment because at this next intersection, at the right hand lane, there's a massive pothole in the middle of the road. Well, it's not a hole, it's a depression around a manhole cover. There we are, we're past that. Now I can get back into the lane and I'll follow this lane all the way to where I turn off. About to go down under the Anzac underpass. That will be Anzac Highway that goes over the top. Before they built this underpass, this used to be a massive intersection. Huge uh, delays every day. So they built this. And by cripes did it make a difference. I smell baking bread. You can't, I can. That overpass just in front of us is the Adelaide to Glenelg tram line. Which again used to be a um, traffic lighted crossing that put in the overpass, freed up the traffic. So they can get some things right. And at this set of lights is a fixed traffic camera. One does not speed. And we're about to go over the crossroads um, overpass. Uh, so it's crossroads going underneath us and straight through the middle of the intersection is a uh, train line, two rail train line. It goes to the southern suburbs. So the delays here could be awkward. Now this is called the Emerson Crossing. And again it sped things up. So yeah, look, they've helped. If traffic was this light all the time, it wouldn't be a bad ride. Unfortunately it's not. <sighs> when school goes back, and all the mumsies and dadsies are driving to work again. This is going to get really heavy. The 
government has plans to put a tunnel underneath uh, South Road to duplicate it. We'll wait to see if that happens and how it works. Oh goody. Here we have the Castle Plaza Shopping Centre and this particular section could be a real bottleneck. Not sure why, it's not just people using the shopping centre, but it could be a real shit fight. Not this morning. Hooray! This stretch of road here for about oh, eight, twelve months, specialised in burst water mains, which will close down at least one lane, sometimes two lanes, for a day or two. Chaos! And I'll end my tape here. Hope you enjoyed it. 